and welcome back to the channel on this video I'm doing a little walk around comparing the aerial rider grizzly which is the red bike here with the white bike which is the lyric graffiti see the bikes right there get a good look at them now I don't know how many folks out there own both of these bikes, but I may be one of the rare people that do own both bikes. And I was going to give you a little bit of a comparison of the two bikes. So first of all, when you look at them, uh, I don't know if you can tell here, but they're both on their kickstand. But look at how much taller the uh, Aerial Rider Grizzly is. The Grizzly. On videos when I saw it uh, before I purchased it I thought wow that's a small bike it looks tiny you know but when you actually get the bike it's not as small as you think and the other thing in comparing the two bikes would be the weight I mean the graffiti is so much lighter than this Grizzly the Grizzly now with the new I have e Huntsman tires on there now it goes at 105 with the stock tires and then when you put these e huntsman uh, v motos on there it gets about uh, extra five pounds i'd say so it's probably closer to 110 pounds right now so when you're maneuvering with the bikes you can tell that weight difference the um the graffiti goes at about 80 pounds or just a shade under 80 pounds so that's a good there's probably about a right now with the tire, new tires on this bike it's about a 30 pound difference and uh, believe me you can uh, notice the difference uh in the weight of the uh bikes and look at the tires on this uh that i put on there these are like i say they're not the original these are the e huntsman and uh, these have the thickest tread you're going to find on a on a tire it probably last a long time and uh here's a look at the graffiti tires now these are cst big boat tires now they're both uh 20 by 4 but i can tell you that these uh e huntsman's when i put these on they uh set you up another a good inch i'd say in height uh compared to the stock tires Here's a look at the back of the bikes. Now, as far as like fenders, you can hear that. Those are metal on the graffiti, whereas these here are plastic. And I have a scratch right there, I see. Uh, so, uh, difference there. And the other thing that I don't like about the, the fenders on the... Uh, on the uh, Grizzly is look at how short the back fender is it only comes to here whereas on the graffiti they have it going halfway down the wheel which I like that covers you better and there's a look at the name on the tire there big boat CST as far as um, they're pretty similar as far as batteries go with the two batteries on the graffiti the uh, grizzly comes standard with the two batteries the two uh, so you got your 15 amp hour right here and then this one's a 20 amp hour under the seat which gives you 35 whereas here on the on the graffiti you get the 17 0.5 amp hour here and under the seat is the other 17.5 which gives you the same amount um, 35 amp hour if you're gonna pedal and you want a bike that you can pedal the winner here would be the uh, Grizzly in my opinion and the graffiti in my opinion it is not a pedaler it's more of a get on it and ride it like a motorcycle The other thing uh, difference would be the Grizzly comes with a uh, rear suspension, whereas there's no rear suspension on the uh, Graffiti. The motor is obviously are different. There's two 
100 or 1000 watt motors on the Grizzly you got that one there in the back and then you got your front motor which adds up to uh, 2000 watts they both peak out uh, at 1850 so that's 3700 watts total and the rear gearless hub motor here on the graffiti as you see it right there it's pretty big in size it's 2500 watt peaking out at 4700 watt I have seen it peak out at 4700 watt when I've used the regen braking I can tell you that I've seen the meter go all the way over um, but I don't know if I just on throttle if I've seen it I haven't paid enough attention to see that it's going up that high or has gone up that high I don't know I think I've had it up to 4,000 or pretty close if I remember but I definitely have seen it right up basically almost to the to the max uh, when you put on the regen brake but that's another difference the regen braking on the graffiti and you just have your regular on here so that I like the regen braking but as far as uh, riding it um, sitting on here like I say the seat Put you up an extra inch on the graffiti or on the grizzly with the new tires but even without the tires i think it's a little bit higher and the seat i can tell you this is just the stock seat i did not change it out now uh, the seat is definitely better on the rear graffiti right there that is a nice seat now some of the taller uh, guys that want to ride or girls uh this bike here they probably are going to sit back on here i sit right here so I sit right, just, you know, right up to this, uh, where it bumps up here. And, uh, but yeah, it can accommodate whichever uh, size you are. You can just sit back a little further. Whereas a lot of people on the, on the Grizzly here have swapped this out to go back further, put a longer seat. Uh, and as far as uh, get up and go, I want to do a video down the road here in the not too distant future here with uh, someone else riding one of them and myself riding one and having a race. I want to I want to race them. I think what would happen in a race, uh, I believe the uh, Grizzly may get off to the faster start, but the Graffiti would beat it in a, in a race if it could catch it, catch back up, whatever it loses in the takeoff, it's going to win the race. Because this bike will consistently can get up to 37 miles an hour, whereas the the Grizzly with these new tires, I it, it's hard to get it to beyond uh, 34 or maybe 35. That's what you're going to get. So I think that couple of miles per hour is going to be enough for this one to uh, to beat it in a race. So, but uh, as far as smoothness, I like I like riding the graffiti. I know the grizzly has the full suspension but i just like i don't know what it is about the graffiti but from the first time i got on it i just love the comfort um it just it just feels i don't know just so smooth and it's just a joy to ride uh, i don't know how else to explain it i think if you're going to ride off-road now this is for street riding i prefer the graffiti but i think if it was off-road and you're going to do off-roading you probably would want the grizzly the only thing I wouldn't like about the Grizzly uh, off-roading is it's a little bit heavier. So I don't know, you might want maybe that. I don't know if that would be, you know, a hindrance at all. But I like the uh, the graffiti for how it handles and just the smoothness. And looking at the headlights here right in the front, there's no question at all that the graffiti wins out in the headlights that headlight is something else it's i have not seen anything better than that and this one looks pretty good on the uh, grizzly but uh, it doesn't shine uh, uh, that great and i should mention that this is a graffiti the version two and now they have the version three out and the headlight is supposed to be uh improved on the uh the newer one so and i can't answer that because i don't know but that's what i've heard anyway that they do have a better headlight on there but uh they're both good bikes uh i'm glad i own both of them um 
and um, this bike uh, the Grizzly I've now had for a year uh, about 13 months now actually and the graffiti I've had for about two and a half months so uh, I don't know what's coming next down the road but probably get someday another one but I, I don't know what it's going to be but there's a look at them from the back they're both uh, a nice bikes though they're around the same price if you buy the lyric graffiti the two battery setup is $35.99 whereas the single battery is $3,099 I do have a uh, code in my descriptions and uh, uh, a link and then the code the discount code uh, for the uh, graffiti and it's uh, Oregon e-biker mark uh, all one word that'll save you $150 on the bike I do not have a link for uh, or, or a discount code for the uh, aerial rider grizzly unfortunately but I can leave a link for that bike as well in the description but uh, they're both a joy to ride and uh, I'm going to keep riding them. I ride the Lyric Graffiti more than I do the uh, Grizzly. But uh, the Grizzly doesn't get left too long without going for a ride though. And uh, that's going to do it for this vi video. A little bit of a comparison. I am going to do a, full, a fuller review on the uh, Graffiti down the road here in the not too distant future probably in a few weeks or so or three weeks um, I did two reviews on the Grizzly I did one uh, four month review and I did a 10 month review if you want to check those out I can leave the link for those as well in the description you can go check those out and like I say I'm going to be doing a uh, one on the Lyric Graffiti in the not too distant future so watch out for that down the road here so that's going to do it for this video. I wanted to show you both bikes side by side and what they look like. So thank you for joining me on this video. If you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much for doing that. And if you'd like to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you will be notified. And if you'd like to leave a comment on this video or any other video, go ahead and do that in the comment section. So once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, Take care.